Are you tired of wearing uncomfortable heels to work that are difficult to walk in and those pesky flats that give you blisters time and time again? Are you constantly looking for a way to wear sneakers to work but you don't want to end up looking like old granny with her cane and orthopedic shoes? In today's video, I'm going to take you from this to this. Okay, so step one when wearing sneakers or tennis shoes to work is to ditch the athletic type sneakers and opt for more of a nicer type of sneaker like these leather, these that are leather. They're also just a bit cleaner. These shoes are my Nike Air Force Ones. They're a little bit chunkier, so I'm wearing it with a more slender outfit. We'll go into more detail about how to choose the right shoes for the outfit but with this one um, i chose a more menswear style type of look and so that's why i'm wearing the nike air force ones because with this outfit i can get away with a little bit chunkier shoe so voila and if you wear a suit like this it doesn't have to be all one color um but you can get away with a little bit chunkier style shoe if you want to opt for that okay and the next thing you want to do when you want to wear um, sneakers, 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 sneakers to work is you want to be careful of the type of socks you wear. So you don't want to wear big old long tube socks like these and like Granny was wearing. So toss those away. You also don't want to wear a sock like this that has the tab in the back and you can see it above your shoe, like the ankle part of your shoe. Nope, don't want that one. This one right here is a really low ankle sock. Let me show you guys up closer. It can work. Um, but you will see a little bit above that ankle line of your shoe. So it'll work, but be careful what shoes you wear that one with. And then this sock that I really recommend is a no-show sock like this one. And um, this one's actually really cool. It has the rubber in here, so it's not going to like slide around on your foot. And this one also has memory foam pads in it to like cushion your foot like all day. I don't even remember where I got this pair of socks. I actually have two pairs of these. But I, it has it in the heel too, like it's so nice. But I, if I find these again, or if I can find them online, I will definitely link them down below because they're just amazing. But for this outfit, what I did was I went for a monochromatic look. And one thing, when you are pairing sneakers with pants for work, you want to be really, really careful to make sure that the pant line, the hem of the pant is above your ankle. You don't want it to be below your ankle, otherwise you're gonna look really frumpy and yucky and you just look here. Yeah, not a good look. Um, so you want your pants to be above the ankle. And so for this look, I opted for a slightly different kind of sneaker. These are actually fashion sneakers and they are a pointed toe snake skin sneaker. They just kind of up the ante a little bit in terms of sneaker style but you can also wear like any kind of a black sneaker so like i have black kids i could have worn with this i had some black vans i could have worn with this i just wanted to you know kind of up the style factor a little bit with these sexy bad boys a question that i get a lot is can you wear sneakers with jumpsuits and the answer to that is absolutely in fact i'm wearing a pair of slip-on sneakers that are in a leopard print of course you can wear regular sneakers i would suggest maybe not wearing something super clunky with a wide leg pant like this but just remember that you want to make sure that your pant leg is above your ankle if it's above your ankle you can wear sneakers and you know slip-ons are sneakers too aren't they yeah i think so plus they're super easy because you just slide your foot on in right uh-huh so now when pairing sneakers with a dress to wear to work, I would highly suggest that with a dress you go with a lighter weight sneaker, like a Ked style sneaker. And I got these from um, Target for like 12 bucks, so hey, steal. But also the longer the skirt of whatever you're wearing a skirt or a dress, the more petite your sneaker needs to be because you don't want to feel like too bottom heavy and drag the eye down. And if you wear like a really clunky Clyde stuffer like so you're gonna drag the eye down and it's just gonna make you look bottom heavy and no one wants that, trust me. But you can definitely pull off sneakers with a dress. You just wanna make sure that the dress isn't too, too like super fancy, like a pencil dress, probably not gonna work with sneakers, but something like this that's a little bit more flowy and then you can wear like these kid style sneakers. You're gonna be just fine for the office or for teaching or for whatever really because i've worn this teaching several times and been totally fine so 
And see, now that I have on a shorter skirt, I'm able to wear a slightly chunkier heel. I mean, heel. <laughs> slightly chunkier shoe, so it's not dragging the eye down as much as it would have with the skirt that was a little bit longer. And another thing is, I would highly suggest that if you're wearing dark colors like this, you go with a black or darker colored sneaker. Whereas if you're wearing lighter colors, or if there's even just white somewhere in your outfit even, which, I mean, this is a half, I, then you could opt for the more um, white version, but there you go. That's how you can wear sneakers to work. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, uh, and I'll see you guys next time.